Welcome to Xar Template Tutorial Lesson 113 for the Xar Web Designer 9 Premium Software. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about another new feature in Xar Web Designer 9 Premium. In this case, I'm going to talk about how to use a pre designed template to create a full width background. And the reason that I'm making this tutorial is because I had a YouTube viewer request on how to accomplish this task. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is open up a blank new document in Xar Web Designer 9 Premium. And once you do that, I want to go over a few things before we move forward with this tutorial. The first thing is there's two types of backgrounds. And the first one we're going to talk about is the page background. And the page background is represented by the gray rectangle that you see in your workspace. And my gray rectangle may be a little bit darker than yours, and that's just because I drew a quick shape on top of it to simulate what the page background area is because it's really light gray and you probably wouldn't see it on screen unless I drew a quick shape on top of it so don't worry if your gray rectangle looks a lot lighter than mine it's just because I drew a quick shape on top of it to simulate the page area but with that said the page background is really just for you to display your content and any elements that you have inside of that page background is going to be visible on your website so think of the page background as the area for displaying content that your user is going to interact with. Okay. And the second type of background is the pasteboard background and the pasteboard background is anything outside of that rectangle. And that's going to basically be there for visual appeal. It's not going to be there for any interactivity. So that's, that's what the two differences are between the types of backgrounds. One is for displaying content, which is the page background and the pasteboard background is for visual appeal okay so with that said let's go ahead and move forward with this tutorial the first thing I'm going to do actually is delete the quick shape that I drew because we don't need that and then I'm going to go ahead and go to my designs gallery lock that panel and within that panel you'll see a folder called website backgrounds and in parentheses new for version 9 we're going to go ahead and left click on that and then it'll bring up a series of the different type of backgrounds that we can use for a full width and I'm going to pick the one that says header one and I'm going to go ahead and drag that in my workspace and then let's go ahead and go to file preview web page and you'll see that it covers the full width of the web browser in other words this red bar up here at the top goes from left to right and there's no gaps or white space on either side so let's go ahead and go back to our workspace let's say you want to use a different background maybe you wanted to use header 5 so let's go ahead and drag that into our workspace in this case it's asking me do I want to keep the same colors and I don't want to keep the same colors I want to retain the colors from the image that I dragged in so I'm going to select don't match and in this case it will retain the colors that we saw in the thumbnail for header 5 and if we go to file preview web page you'll see that it covers the full width of the browser but let's say that you want to actually use just the texture well what you would do is you would look at some of the textures here like bump check cube you know any of these textures can be dragged in and replace the full background with this texture so I'm gonna choose uh, let's see I'll choose checked and if I drag that into my workspace it'll ask me again do I want to match and again I don't want to match so I'll select don't match if I go to file preview web page you'll see that it fills the whole browser window with that texture so that's how you create full width backgrounds using the pre-designed templates in Xar Web Designer 9 Premium and if this video was helpful in teaching you how to do so uh, definitely leave a, a comment embed subscribe share and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials have a great day